Tamra, how long have you been homeless? Uh, off and on for about five years. And uh, what happened five years ago to... Uh, I was, uh, I don't know, things have been changing in Arizona um, a lot. Uh, I'm not sure exactly, I can't like pinpoint what happened, but um, I'm thankful to have a, a stepfather though that he allows me to go there off and on, but there are rules, you know. Um, I need a job is what I need. I'm willing to work, but um, I don't know. But having an addiction, uh, it makes it hard to what type of work were you doing or what type of work are you willing to do? Uh, anything that isn't too, you know, strenuous. Uh, something on the books, preferably. Or even off the books to make, you know, a quick buck. But um, whatever helps, you know, whatever will help people and help me as well. I think there should be more jobs readily available. Um, or some type of a job program. Um or something like that. Maybe there is, and I'm just unaware of it, but that would be nice. You mentioned uh, you're battling addiction. Uh, how's, how long has that been going on? Um, my whole life. Well, since I was 18. So. It's been a while? Yeah. And I'm not on, I'm not on methadone anymore, so I was on methadone for a while. Which is a good thing. That way it's not taking from, you know, our government or, our, you know. So methadone is was good for you? Like some people say methadone's not good, there's Suboxone. I think if it helps you and you stay on a low dose, it's a good thing. I noticed you have a hospital wristband. Oh yeah. And I went to get my nose checked because I had this infection, a little infection. Uh, it's healing up, but uh, I still need to follow up with the doctor. It's just a random, uh, inf just you get infections out here because you're out here. Yeah, I normally time. don't get a whole lot of infections and I don't get sick a whole lot. But yeah, this is something that needs to be, I, that's why I went to the hospital. I went to 93rd and Thomas over there. Uh, what's life like out here on the streets? It's a cold. Uh, any any dangers out here for you? Not really. Not for me. Uh, hopefully not. I'm very thankful to have like a few family members that are there for me. I don't know what. I don't know. I'm think. I I'm appreciative of that. So I appreciate that. And how do they help? They come out here, bring you food, or how do they help um, you? They're just there for me at the house sometimes, or yeah, they'll come pick me up. And uh, have you been thinking about going to treatment recently? Uh, it'd be nice if I could find a treatment center that would actually rehabilitate me, you know, completely and not just, you know, something more long term that would teach me some things that I need to be taught. Like what's missing from the previous treatments you've received? Like what? Follow up, like follow up care. Like you can go somewhere for five days and then if you don't have a plan for afterwards, it's just pointless, you know? So there's a lot of treatment centers with like really bad aftercare. They don't, they don't follow up on how you're doing or? or no, just to have a plan, you know, of what you're gonna do, that's all. That's what I'm lacking. Yeah. when I go somewhere like that so yeah and uh, what advice would you have for people uh, especially a lot of young people out here I've noticed a lot of young people that are out here uh, what advice would you give to other youngsters that are, are they're thinking they're curious about you know trying this stuff what do you what would you tell them uh, I can't really tell them anything there's nothing to say I, you can say it all you want it doesn't work <laughs> Ultimately, people make their own decisions. You're yeah. Saying? Yep. See, so here's this uh, bag of uh, donated items. Uh, if you
you could check through them. If there, are those items you, you'll need? For sure. Is that a blanket? Yeah. Little blanket. Wipes, towels. Wipes. Okay. Yeah. So that's uh, been donated and also um, money's been donated to get you some food, okay? Okay. So thank you very much. Stay safe and we'll talk soon, okay? Okay, thank you. Thank you.